this one so skinny. Hi everyone and welcome back to another cosplay work in progress vlog. Today we are going to be working on my Reaper belt. Um, I am doing a Femme Reaper for BlizzCon this year, so excited for that. Um, I already have my mask done, hold on, let me get that. I already have my mask done, which you can see all the progress that I like did on this mask. You can see all that on my Instagram. I didn't really do any long videos on this because I wasn't sure if it was going to work out or not. So yeah, today um, we're going to be doing the belt. We're going to be making it out of a faux leather material. Uh, we'll be using EVA foam for the buckles and uh, soft clay foam for some of the other details and obviously paint and that's about it. So let's get started on figuring out how to structure this thing. So looking at my reference pictures here, I think the best course of action would be to make four individual belts. Um, and just having my wider one obviously a little bit bigger around than the other ones so it can slant more down on my hip because it looks like there's some this one looks like it's like a waist belt and this one is just like a cross and a cross and then another cross so I'm gonna make four belts all that attach with velcro in the back that way I don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to strap it all on me. I can just detach it in the back pretty quickly and just keep all of this nice and flush and not have to worry about opening mechanisms on the front. That way everything can be glued together and it's more secure that way. Uh, for my bullets, I'm actually having a friend 3D print those for me and it's gonna be a couple days till I actually have those. Um, if I have them before I'm done editing this video, I will um, insert that in the end. Um, as for all my little accessories here, like this piece and this piece, I'm gonna be making those out of soft clay foam. I actually have the base for this piece already done and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna turn it into that. And then for these, uh, for these buckles, these kind of bigger pieces here, those are gonna be made out of EVA foam because those will be very simple. Um, so I think the best thing to get started with, I also have this little hanging piece here, don't want to forget that. Um, I think the best way to start is with making these three thinner belts here, and then we'll make a wider one. So let's do some measuring. Okay, so I have this other belt that is pretty comfortable on me. So I'm just gonna just do a rough estimate here to the loop that I wear. And I'm just gonna, let me find a writing utensil gonna make a little mark so I know that that's where I want it to be. Um, this piece is too wide to do anything with so I'm gonna cut the strips real quick. Okay now that it's not such a wide piece we will be able to work with it a lot easier. Okay now it's time to cut out the strips that we will then sew into the belt. So just by looking at my reference picture it looks like the belts are just a little bit wider than my ruler here and I'm gonna wanna double up, that way I can fold it in half and sew it so it's nice and clean looking. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna line this up with the line, I'm gonna flip it over, and then this is gonna be my line all the way across. So let me go ahead and sketch that out. So I went ahead and made an identical strip, and it looks like that is gonna be the perfect perfect width for one belt. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this. I'm pretty sure this should be four inches. Yeah, this is four inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one identical to this. All right, now let's cut these strips out. Okay, so my plan is to fold the belt in half like this and then on the seam side, fold it in and fold it in and sew it together like this. But I'm gonna have to go very slowly. So we need to be careful doing this. Okay, so I'm trying to be fancy and I'm trying to use this silver thread. It's like a metallic kind of thing. I just think that it'll give it a little bit more of a kick, make it just look a little bit more detailed, I guess. Um, this stuff 
I'm kind of nervous that it might break and we won't be able to use it. Um, if so, I have some white thread or I have some black thread on backup. So we're gonna try this and see if it works. So the way this is gonna have to work is I'm gonna have to sew a little bit and then I'm gonna have to place it, place the seam on, and then I'm gonna have to sew a little bit more and then just keep going like that. Um, I'm gonna speed this process up, but know that I'm going very, very slowly. I'm so happy that that worked out. So now we have our little seam here and let me get it to focus. Come on, focus. Anyways, um, so yeah, we have our seam here. I'm really happy that that, um, that the silver thread held up. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go along the other side and make another seam going down so it looks a little better. Okay, I am very satisfied with the way that this turned out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process three more times. I'm sure you guys don't wanna have to sit here and watch that. So um, I will be back whenever I have all three done and then we will cut out and make the big one next. Now I'm gonna add some Velcro so the belts can attach in the back. Now I'm just going to repeat the process on the other belts and then we will get started on the different appliques that we need to add. Okay, now we are going to be working on some of the belt buckles. I'm gonna be making um, these little dudes out of some EVA foam and then I'm going to wrap them in Warbla so they're hard. Um, so what I'm gonna start with is just freehanding some of these shapes and then onto my EVA foam and then we'll cut them out. this little dot of hot glue there to uh, help replicate this button right here. Um, now I'm going to let this dry and we will wrap this with Warbler. Now now while this is still hot, I'm going to draw in the detailing. Okay, time for one last piece. Okay, now we have all three of our belt buckle pieces. They have all their detailing. I'm gonna have to add several layers of wood glue to this and then uh, I will be painting it at the end whenever I paint a bunch of my other little appliques. Next step, I'm going to be making four of these little studs, these square studs. I'm gonna be using quick cast resin uh, and I need to make four of these. Um, while I'm waiting for this first batch to dry, I thought I would show you this piece. So this is a piece that I made out of thermoplastic beads. Um, I made this, ooh, let me get this out of the shot, that's annoying. I made this out of thermoplastic beads, and I made this at work, and I didn't know if it would turn out right or not, and I liked the way it turned out again, so I didn't want to have to replicate it here on camera. So here's this. Um, it's just a little shape uh, made out of thermoplastic beads, like I said. Um, it's supposed to be this. So, you know, it's not completely accurate, but there it is. So the first two have set up. You can kind of see how they're just this little shape. Uh, they have set up. I'm going to go ahead and make the other two real quick. 
Okay, so I went and I grabbed another piece of soft clay foam and now I'm going to try to just mold it free-handed instead of trying to cut it out. Because I don't think that's gonna work as well as I'm wanting it to. So let me just start with a little piece so I can make the outside ring and get started from there. Okay, now it looks like I have a pretty good starting shape. I'm gonna push these and mush these together. Um, this part right here is going to be hidden, this little seam that I'm making right here, it's going to be hidden behind a piece of leather because there's a uh, leather that like loops through and hangs on there. So you won't be able to see this part. So go ahead and squish it together as good as you can because it's gonna be the whole thing holding it together. Doesn't matter how ugly the seam is, just make sure it's strong. Okay, now I'm going to start shaping the piece that will go on top here. See if that's wide enough. I'm going to just squish it down to flatten it a little bit. And this is gonna make it just a little bit longer. And now we're gonna shape it into a curve, an even one, hopefully. A curve. I'm gonna tuck it all the way up here. And I'm pushing the stuff into the side that will be the back. So this will be the front, and this will be the back. That did not look even. Yeah, this side needs to come down some more. Yeah, that's a little better. So yeah, you'll just push these in as hard, as deep as it'll go without you having to without the whole thing warping. All right, let's make the next piece. You can see here these are my failed pieces that I tried before. Now we're gonna make the piece that goes from here to to here. So it's more bulbous on the bottom. I love that word, bulbous. So it's more bulbous here on the bottom, and this part looks like it just fades from here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this kind of a shape and just bringing the ball part out more prominently because this part is going to be behind, but this part is going to be in front. I'll show you what I mean once I stick it on there. Just gonna keep shaping it till it's the right length that I need. A little bit more. Keep it going. Okay, so I'm gonna start by pressing it into the back of this top one. Press it in there. Press it into the second one. Now making sure that it's centered, I'm gonna press it into the actual circle. There are nail marks all over this. Okay, and now we have our piece. It does not look anything like the real one, but it is close enough for me. Let me see if I have the strap handy. I do. So this little strap, let's see if I can put it in without messing this up too much. So it's basically going to be hanging off my strap like this, like that. Once it's painted and detailed, it'll look really great. Okay, so the rest of my resin pieces are done. Now we are going to start assembling the belts. We're gonna start adding our detail pieces. Well, actually, I guess I should paint these before I add detail to them. Hold on, let's paint these. Okay, so now these are all dry, sort of. There was still a wet spot on that one. Great. Um, so as you can kind of see, the detailing on this got a little bit lost. So I'm going to be detailing it a little bit with this Sharpie here. So I'm just gonna lightly mark, and then I'm gonna blend it with my finger. You gotta be quick about the blending so it doesn't dry. And 
this will just help give it the shadow effect that it's missing. Because the, uh, looks like the wood glue just covered in the indentions I made. I didn't make the indentions deep enough. I mean, that kind of helped made it, make it stand out. I wish this wasn't happening either, but I'm new to working with Warbla and I haven't quite figured out how to get that to stop yet. Okay, so for this belt buckle, super simple. It's just going to be hot glued onto one of the, oh, need another stick. One of the smaller belts that I made, one out of three of those. This one just goes smack dab in the middle make sure I'm not gluing that on anything other than this. Yeah, it just goes like that. And yeah, I know that's really bad. I'm working on it. Yeah, there we go. And that is the simple one I needed to be completed. There's one belt. Okay, so this is the thicker of the four belts. It looks like, um, from my reference picture that I'm just looking at right over here, it looks like this piece goes about in the middle and this piece is about, I'd say that far away. So let me glue these on. I love the glue spot that I just made for paint spot. Now later, whenever I get my bullets, I will be able to, I'll be putting those right here, but right now I don't have my bullets. That right there, make sure I'm not gluing it to the back side. And there we go. There's that part of the belt. Okay, so these are just three little grommets that I recycled from another belt or belt strap that I never ended up using. So I am, it's like if this is the center, this is about where those dots are. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of hot glue and then press them on. Oh, ow, I just glued my hand. Very carefully, trying to get it centered. There we go. Now the next one. Trying to make sure that it's in line. Don't worry, we can come back and clean up all these little stragglers behind. So we wanna make sure to actually get it on there before we start messing with it. That's way too much. Ow. Just gotta try your hardest to get it nice and even. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Alrighty. Let's go through here and pick up all these pieces. That was the simplest part, but the most painful. That was literally the easiest. This is all I have to do to this one belt here. It's just add these three little pieces, but oh, this is the most painful. Well, actually, I don't know. I think the mask was the most painful because I burnt the crap out of myself on that warble multiple times. Okay, there you go. And if you think that you have too much hot glue, uh, hot glue showing, if you're recreating this or whatever, you can take like a black Sharpie or something, color that uh, hot glue in, and you won't be able to see it unless you're staring right at it. So there's this belt too. Okay, now we are on the phase of painting the last couple details that need to be added to the belt. So I have this little thing that I made out of the thermoplastic this thing right here that was made out of soft comb, uh, foam clay, sorry, and there's these little resin pieces. So there was four of these, but then one of the little bastards, oh, there's the other one. One of the little bastards ran away, and then I thought this one was gone too, but I found it. And I'm not pulling all that shit out again just to make one more gym. So um, I'm just gonna be using the same silver that I used on all the other stuff. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have to layer these up a couple more times. Normally with like acrylic paint, you have to give it a couple good bases for it to actually be able to stick to itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer this up and I will meet you back here whenever I'm ready to attach these pieces to the belt. Alrighty, so now this uh, strip of fabric that I think we made earlier um, is going to be used for this piece. So I cut it into a little point here so I can feed it through the top and just put it in there as far as it'll go. And then 
I'm gonna add glue all around so it stays in place. Okay, it looks like it's hardened up enough to stay on there. Um, looks like I got some other plastic on there. I can get that off later. Um, now let's get our other belt. So we made four belts earlier and this is the fourth one that I didn't do anything else to. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I don't burn the crap out of it. So on this one, I need to add three details. Let me find the center. So this piece right here um, needs to go about right here, I think, about right here. But I need to cut these apart and glue it behind. Or, you know, maybe I'll just glue it on top. Keep it nice and structurally sound. Yep, I'm just gonna glue it on top of it. So I'm just gonna add the hot glue to the back. And my center is here, so I'm just gonna do this off center here to the side. Ow, there's hot glue on my finger. Make sure that's not bubbling out on either side or on any of the sides. I got a little bit of bubbling back here, so I'm just gonna scrape it off before it gets too dry or cold, I guess. Okay, now the next part is going to be to add, uh oh, there they are are three little things here. They need to go in a diamond shape, it looks like. And I'm looking at my reference picture over here. That's what I'm looking at. Um, it looks like this is also on the other side. So it's like, here's the center and I need to put these about right here. So just add a dot of hot glue on the back. Put it there, kind of like that. And it looks like the uh, long strip that we just made it looks like it goes directly behind the first little diamond detail here. Another dot of hot glue. Just trying to make sure it's nice and even before you push it down. There we go. Now I'm thinking this right here, let me move this up. This right here is gonna be too long. Actually, no, that looks like it'll be perfect as long as I Hold it up all the way, okay. Let's add some leather. I'm gonna do it to the back of the belt. Add some hot glue and put our piece in place and hold it until it gets, until it sets up. Okay, and this belt is done and now all four of them are done, uh, except for one little detail. So I haven't gotten my 3D printed bullets yet and I don't think I will have them before this video is done being edited. So what I plan to do is I plan to cut a thinner strip and I'll take all my bullets because um, he has these little uh, bullet packs here. So what I'll do is I'll just bunch them together and glue this leather on it and make it look like it's, you know, on it, you know, like a little leather strap and make sure it looks like it's uh, holding it in there. And then I will glue that to the, I believe it's the widest belt. Uh, this one, where's that? This one, the widest belt here. It just goes about right here, about right here, I think. So. Um, you guys will obviously see that on my Instagram or something like that, but unfortunately I don't have them right now and I'm trying to get this video up before I leave for BlizzCon. Ah! I think I'm going to need to tighten these up a little bit. Like this one's supposed to be, see they're falling off of me. This one's supposed to be tight around my waist, but it's not. Um, this one, I think I may need to attach it to one that's tighter. That way I know, like in the back, uh, I'll add a snap to both belts so I can just snap them together so I know what's holding. And then I think these, this one needs to be tightened, but I think this one right here, because it's supposed to be a little bit loose off of me, I think this one's perfect. I just need to take a couple inches off of these here and we will be done. Um, let me get just a little bit closer of a look. Yeah, as you can see, also my uh, Sonic plushie over there on the ground. Yeah, as you can see, um, they're just a little bit too big. Like I said, this one needs to be kind of tight around my waist. This one's falling down too far. And this one, you know, I'm, I'm standing like this to keep it keep it up. And um, but other than that and missing the bullets, I think this looks freaking awesome. I'm so proud of this. Looks awesome. Can't wait to wear this to BlizzCon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make those changes and then I'll be and my reaper belt is completed. I'm really excited about the final product here. Um, as you can see, I got my bullets in at the last second. Uh, here's the top too. 
Added bullets to the top as well. That's the top of the costume, but yeah, uh, this video is all about the belts. Um, as you can see, I got my mini locking mechanisms, mechanisms in the back, and all of this, this ugliness will be covered by a jacket, so we won't have to worry about that. And um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of this. Looks really great. Can't wait to wear it to BlizzCon in two days. I can't believe I put this costume off like I did. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, be sure to look out for the next one. See you later. Bye.